Lane. We don't see Lane much, but then again, she is backstage, which is probably why we don't see her much. What's the matter? Well, why doesn't Lane want to be filmed? I mean, uh, well, Lane's never been one for the spotlight. She has this dark past that no one knows about, and I think she intends to keep it that way, really. She's want to hide herself away as much as possible, um, hence why you'll probably never see her face on camera. <laughs> Look, go away! Why is music important in this show? Well, I, I feel like, well, not only because it's a fairy tale, well, it's a, a twist of many fairy tales, really, um, it, it needs that. It needs that, that little bit of a, ooh, we're not just reading a story from a book, we're actually seeing it come to life and it's a world where people can just burst into song. Hello, I'm Emma, I'm part of the chorus. I do like the little bits, I do a bit of singing, a bit of acting, a bit of dancing as well. I'm Kate and I do the same thing as my big sister. <laughs> I mean, I even when they said, oh no, we've got to have something with a bit of music in it, I thought, well, we could just somehow make Romeo and Juliet into a musical. But it's kind of started on Rocky Horror Picture Show. I don't, it's appropriate for children, in my opinion, get them started early on, you know, the world of theatre, and they'll be less upset by things like men in golf pants running around. It's normal. But no, Helton Johnny chose instead. Disgraceful. Alright oh, right now, I just can't stop this music. And do you know why? Because I am the music man. Oh yeah. Looking up for Can't stop the feeling! <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. And uh, I'm new to Waddington Amateur Dramatic Society, and I play the wicked stepmother in the play. I've forgotten what it's called. What's it called? I can't, sorry, let me do that again because I can't, I can't remember. Um, hi, my name's Beth. I'm in the chorus. Um, the chorus basically is someone that's in a lot of songs and the. A lot of different characters in, a, um, in most shows, like in this one I'm a henchman, I'm like a villager and stuff like that, and we're in a lot of songs. Yes, because if you go straight to this side. Um, yeah. Who sat on the dock, shaking and waving his hair and She's big hairy big fist. Big Joan's one I've always been able to rely on. She's She's the one that I tend to fall back on when I've taken on too much, and let's face it, I have taken on too much. Um, but I will not stand here and be criticised like this. Or, 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 for some reason, she refuses to admit that she's a jury. And it's very confusing because she has the accent, she's lived there. Don't we sing something? So are you looking forward to be playing Snow White? I am, yes. I've not played the uh, princess character before in a pantomime, so yeah, quite excited. So what does Snow White do? Um, she's very vain. She's not your traditional Snow White. Um, she has a room of mirrors. Can we talk about it? Um, I mean, he's a bit, he's a bit weird. Like, he can, he can be funny, but he's, he's a bit weird. Like. The man for such a little experience, um, is obsessed with Shakespeare. Um, I don't know if it's you know, a found love that just comes from reading the plays, the sonnets, or whether he just really wants to wear that massive collar. But, uh, he's a hairy man and he's, he's a very close friend and sometimes that means it's really hard to keep him on a short leash and it's a problem. They think they're going to get away with deciding on this ridiculous panto. I don't think so. I'll sort it out, I'm sure.
Sailor who sat on the dock, <laughs> shaking and waving his big hairy fist. <laughs> <laughs>